Hello, this is Christopher with Puget Systems. I'm here today to show you a common backup issue and uh, how to fix it. Now, first things first, I I've gone ahead and brought up backup. Uh, this issue typically happens in Windows 7 and Vista, and uh, it's kind of frustrating. Basically, you'll go to do a backup and you'll get that it failed. And then when you go to l check your backup, you can bring up more information and you'll see that it skipped backing up on the system image because one of the critical volumes is not having enough free space. Here's the thing, uh, the backup, that you, the drive that you're trying to back up to has plenty of free space. The primary drive, the C drive here, you'll see has, uh, oops, has plenty of free space. Uh, it's a little low, but it's fine for, what, uh, for a backup, but it's still failing. Why is it failing? Well, there's a hidden critical volume called the system reserved partition and it's part of windows that when you boot up it goes to system reserved asks what to do and system reserved says hey go talk to windows proper here on the c drive and the thing is, is that if that system reserve partition gets too full it will not back up it just doesn't have enough space uh, you can see here that i got it five percent free um, we want that to be higher and uh, this doesn't happen often uh, it's typically caused by uh, like a, an update that tries to write to it or uh, a, a program that's installed that writes to it or modifies the system reserve partition. Usually it's not you copying data to it uh, because it's, it's a hidden partition. You can't do anything with it. Um, in my case, I artificially uh, filled it with space, but again, you can't, usually you can't do it. And it's not a common, a terribly common issue, um, but I've seen it happen. In any case, so what we want to do is we want to resize this partition. And there's a particular method that I use just because it, it's free. Uh, it doesn't, it's a little complicated, but it's, it's fairly easy to do. Um, and we're going to do, do that here today. First off, if you can, copy everything from your drive that you can. Uh, obviously, you can't use backup to do it. Um, but you need to, any important files, just manually drag and drop them over to an external drive. Just something. Have them saved. Because uh, the method we're going to show you here uh, should work, but you're, you're, you're messing with core system files. It can break. Um, in the, in, unfortunately, any time you mess with something like system reserved, things can break. Um, so just save everything you can first. Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to uh, get your Windows disk and the Puget Tools DVD or some version of uh, bootable Linux. Just something you can boot to um, that has what's called GParted on it. Uh, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, we'll show you why that's important here in a bit. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and shut this system down. Okay, uh, when I shut it down, uh, I put in the Puget, uh, Puget Tools DVD, um, and you're going to get this menu if you're using the Tools DVD, something like this. And you'll see here that there's a bunch of different options. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the Live Linux Environment. And what we're going to do is, and you can, again, you can use a live Linux version as long as it's got GParted on it. Um, so just uh, find anything that'll do that. You're going to see a bunch of text come up. Don't worry, errors don't really matter here. Um, it's just as long as it comes to a desktop, you're fine. And what we're going to do here is we're actually going to resize those partitions using GParted. Now, when I click here, uh, you're going to see this come up and you're going to see the uh, drive here. Uh, if you have a bunch of extra other drives, another drive might come up. If it does, go ahead and select here until you find the, um, the one that has the system reserve partition on it. And what you're going to do is select the uh, other partition here because we need to make space for the system reserve to get bigger. And we're going to go ahead and resize it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give a, I'm going to, you want to grab at the beginning here and drag it over just a little bit. And we're gonna give it 300 megabytes here. Uh, you can go larger. I usually try to go for about 500, but uh, anything, it, honestly, it doesn't need a whole lot. It just needs a little bit more space. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose resize and move. Now it's gonna give you a warning here. It's actually telling you that this is gonna break windows and it will, we're gonna have to fix it. But uh, this is why you, back, you saved everything first because this can happen. Um, it is possible things might not be fixable, but this is, this should be just fine here. And I'll show, I'll show you here in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and click okay. We're going to go to the system reserve partition now, and we're going to resize that now. And we're just going to expand it out to fit all this space. 
Uh, now keep in mind that sometimes it won't fill out everything. You'll actually see little bits and pieces that are left over. Um, it's got this one megabyte uh, bit here. Not a big deal if you leave it as is. Uh, you can try resizing things to uh, get that space back, but it's not really going to be a big deal. In fact, I'm not, uh, can I do it? Yeah, I'm not able to get it going. Whatever. It's got a little one megabyte uh, uh, bit here. Not concerned about it. I'm going to go ahead and apply this operation. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to let this do its thing, and then we'll come back. So after restarting, uh, if you don't put the Windows disk in, what you're going to see is this right here, uh, Windows Boot Manager. Um, and it's going to tell you it failed to boot. That's expected, totally expected. Uh, and what we're going to do is actually follow the instructions they tell you. You want to put the Windows install disk in, we're going to restart. Uh, if it doesn't boot from the Windows disk by default, you want to tap F8 and choose your DVD drive. Um, and we'll, we'll get our, our settings coming up. But I'm going to show, walk you through that here in just a moment. And when you start up, you're going to get this. Uh, it said press any key to boot from CD. Uh, it goes by really quick, so you want to just press a key as soon as that happens. Uh, if not, you'll get the, the thing I was just talking about. Um, in any case, it's going to boot into the installer for Windows 7 here. We're going to go ahead and click Next. And we're going to go to uh, uh, Repair Your Computer. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan for the install. It's going to find it, and it's going to say it found a problem. We're going to go ahead and choose Repair and Restart. Um, your system is going to restart. Uh, don't worry about pressing a key now. You don't have to do it here. Um, and it's going to try to start Windows. And what we just did is ran this. Uh, it's going to actually do a file system check, and it's going to fix everything. This part might take a couple of restarts, um, so just a heads up on that. I would typically just walk away from the computer, come back in about 15 minutes. And after that completes, you're going to see this. Uh, the system started up just fine here. And if we run back up, it'll actually work at this point. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have time to go through the whole thing, but I'll just get this started just to kind of show you here. And it's going to start doing that back up. And the other thing we can do is we can go into Disk Management. And we can see that there's the 404 megabyte partition now. And uh, it's working great. And you can see the backup's now in progress. It didn't stall at the beginning. And the issue is solved. Um, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can contact us via support at PugetSystems.com for email. Uh, or give us a call uh, uh, at 425-458-0273. Thank you. Goodbye.